Hi, Chrissy Hughes again with Fleet and Family Support Center San Diego, talking to you, talking to you today about pre-deployment with regards to children. This is actually my favorite section to talk about. Um, as a former public school teacher, I really like um, trying to help families and kids through the process of a deployment. Um, so I like to remind service members and family members that service members all chose active duty service life. Um, for one reason or another. It might be that you want to stay until retirement, you might want to gain some knowledge and some education, some experience, um, you might be in it for the long haul, um, you might be in to get your GI Bill and get out, but you all chose to be here. And I, as a spouse, as a family member, I also chose to be here. I knew what I was getting into whenever I chose the lifestyle. Now with regards to that, our children actually do not have um, the choice to have this lifestyle. I'm not saying that it's bad. I have three children myself that are military kids, um, but they don't always get the option to choose to be a military kid. So we want to provide them with another really good safety net. I'll follow up on the next video with a lot of resources, um, not only for children, but for service members in general. Um, children will have every color of emotion during a deployment cycle. And one of the things we really want to let them know is that one, that they're not alone, that adults feel the similar um, feelings of separation and anxiety and um, sadness that children feel. And then let them know that they're okay to express their feelings to their caregivers or their family members or their service member. Um, so this is the slide that we have on communicating with kids. Um, pay attention. Make sure that you show empathy um, in your actions as well as um, teaching them how to show empathy with other people. Um, label emotions, ask them questions. Um, so labeling emotions would basically be kind of like, hey, I saw that you were really sad um, when you didn't get a chance to play with your friend. Like my kids are very sad right now during COVID-19 not to be with their teachers and their and their friends. So we're saying, hey, I understand that you're sad and frustrated and uh, feeling cooped up and bothered. And that's okay. Um, emotions are okay with children. Um, so I think labeling emotions is big, but adults have to do that too. Okay. Adults also have to say, I'm feeling mad, sad, frustrated, happy, um, proud, all of that as well. Um, and then the other thing is um, some of the things that we can do to speak to children um, so that they can understand. Again, using that I statements with labeling emotions, I think is one of the really easy ways that we can kind of make communication work a lot better um, when we have a deployment going on, okay? Um, know when to take a break, letting children realize that their emotions can be really big, and that's all right. There's a, Nobody's at fault um, for how they feel at, in the current moment. Um, the other thing that uh, I like is this slide on tips and tricks. I always remind people, um, when they have young children, I say, do you have uh, the contact information for your child's teacher? And I remind service members that this is another way that they can reach out with their child um, to communicate with them while they're away on a deployment. Ask the teacher what's going on. I was a public school teacher. I taught in Oklahoma public schools. I taught right near Tinker Air Force Base. I had students who had parents who were deployed. And I uh, didn't know sometimes that they were deployed. I would have altered my curriculum. I would have made sure that when um, Veterans Day rolled around that we had a chance to honor them if that's what they wanted. I would have made sure during Father's Day and Mother's Day that they could have a stand-in if they wanted. Um, but make sure you're reaching out to those teachers as well. They wanna hear what's going on and that's another way for you to connect with your child. That's not always through their main caregiver. Um, so the other thing is I'll bring up uh, United Through Reading and the school liaison officer a little bit better, but realize there are ups and downs and that is to be expected. And also realize please don't try and um, parent all the way from the middle of the ocean. You have left your child in the care of someone else and it is our job to just support that caregiver and offer encouragement. Don't try and discipline so far away. Um, support, encouragement, let them know that you're proud of them, and then allow for the ups and downs that are happening. And then know too when to reach out for resources. And that's what I'll have in the next video coming up. The good news about the Metro San Diego area is we have so many resources for uh, parents and for children um, that are related to the service, account, uh, service member branch. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and I have one more for you on pre-deployment, but thanks for hanging in there with me.